Hi there. Let's read a book together. Let's read As the Crow Flies, a first book of maps. This book is by Gail Hartman. It's illustrated by Harvey Stevenson. As the Crow Flies. You know, we oftentimes say in geography and mapping, I want to go from point A to point B as the crow flies. So this book really takes off on that theme or that idea. The point is, is that a, a bird, crow in this case, can fly in a direct line, whereas we on the ground are in cars or on foot or on a bicycle or hiking. Basically, we are following uh, natural terrain or sometimes things that we've constructed, city streets for example. But as the crow flies, that crow is going directly from point A to point B. Second thing though, a crow is seen from above. So the things that it sees from above is kind of like the maps we make of the landscape. So let's see how that might be. A first book of maps, As the Crow Flies by Gail Hartman. As the eagle soars, from the mountains a stream flows through a meadow. where a tall tree stands. The eagle's map. So there's the mountains, the stream, the meadow, and the tree. The eagle's map. As the rabbit hops, a path winds around a farmhouse, past a shed, to a garden where the sweet greens grow. The rabbit's map. There's the garden, there's the shed, there's the farmhouse, and there's my house, the rabbit's map. And the crow is seeing this the whole time. As the crow flies, a road runs through fields, past the factory, to city streets lined with houses. The crow's map, fields, factory, City. Ah, as the horse trots. In the city, past the hot dog stand and skyscrapers. There is a park where music and the sounds of children playing fill the air. The horse's map. You've got the streets, you've got the park with a carousel, you've got some skyscrapers. And you've got the hot dog stand. So that's what the horse saw. As the gull glides, beyond the fishing boats in the harbor, near the brick thoroughfare and brick lighthouse, the ocean laps the shores of an island. So here is the gull's map. You can see the shore, you can see the island, and the lighthouse. When the moon shines, it shines on the shores of the island in the ocean. It shines on the park and the houses in the city. It shines on the garden near the farmhouse in the country. Ah, so the moon is shining on everything. And on the tree in the meadow near the mountains that touch the sky. So this is the big map, the map that includes all the things that we've been talking about. So let's see here. It's got the mountains, the tree, the stream, the garden, the rabbit's house, the farmhouse, the fields, the factory, the city, the harbor, the island, the ocean, the lighthouse, the skyscraper, and the park. There's the eagle. There's the horse. Let's see what other animals we have here. There is the bird. Um, there is the rabbit, the crow, and the eagle. Excellent the big map. And there's our final picture of the crow with the moon behind it. So that is, as the crow flies, a first book of maps. Maps are ways of seeing the landscape. If we can't fly up there in an airplane or like the crow does, then we have to make a map that represents the surface of the earth. Whether it's showing, as this book il illustrates, fields or farmhouses or cities or rivers, Maps show us what's on the ground. Sometimes maps show us what's underneath the ground, like geologic subsurface. Sometimes maps show us over what's, what's over the ground, like weather maps. But regardless, maps always show us things that we can't see easily in a table or some other medium. 
Maps are rich sources of information. Maps are wonderful. So continue to explore maps. Thanks for joining me as The Crow Flies, a first book of maps by Gail Hartman. See ya!